Hello. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add an online meeting or a web conference link to your iLearn course. So the first thing you have to do, quite obviously, is log into your iLearn course. Once you've logged in, make sure you turn editing on. That's this button in the top right corner. And if you're using iLearn to build your course, you're familiar with that. Then you scroll to the place in your course where you would like to have your online meeting. Let's in this situation, let's say I want to add an online meeting to my first session. Okay, what I do is I click in the Add an Activity um, drop down box and I want to click on Web Conference. So I'm adding a web conference. We used to call these online meetings, um, so that's why I'm still using that terminology. Then I give it some sort of descriptive title. So this is going to be our initial uh, class discussion. And I'm going to invite some students to uh, participate in live. I'm going to give it a session name and I'm just going to use exactly the same. Uh, name as it as the title. The title is going to be the link that shows up on the screen. Uh, the session name is what shows up uh, when I open up the session uh, in the Blackboard window as it's launching. So I'm just going to say um, uh, we'll add a little difference here. So welcome to the class, and uh, we'll make it uh, exclamation point. And then I put it in a brief description. Uh, this session is for the initial class meeting to allow us to learn who is in the class. Okay, so you can put anything you want in there. Once again, like with everything else in iLearn, if you're going to put a lot of text in there, I recommend that you uh, type it outside of iLearn and then paste it in there in case you would lose your link. Uh, other important things for you as an instructor to decide is when does the session start. By default, it takes the current time and date. I'm going to start this um, uh, you know, about a week, so I'll say 4th of June in my case. Uh, and I'm going to start it, I'm going to have a class that starts meeting at, set at 5 o'clock, so I'm going to have to back this up a little bit and say, well, let's let them in at 4.15, or, or in this case, 16.15. It uses a 24-hour clock. So I'm going to have the session open for about uh, three hours. Uh, that's going to be plenty of time, so my class will will close around 8 o'clock, so 20 hundred, 20 15, that's 8 15 p.m. That's plenty of time. Uh, you can allow students to come in up to an hour early. Uh, in this case, the default time of 15 is good enough. Uh, and if you want to grade the attendance as to whether they were there or not, you can, you can certainly uh, choose that feature. I don't use that. Um, you can keep it visible or invisible, so you could hide it if you're not ready to reveal it to students, or you can show it. Uh, and once you're done with that, then you can save and either return to course, or you can save and display it. I'm going to save and return it to course because I'm going to move it around a little bit. So it saves it. Once again, I go down to uh, where I added it, and here it is at the bottom of the block. And I want to move it up a little bit, so I'm going to click on the Move Up arrow, and I'm going to find the right place for it. I'm going to put it right here at the top of my Session 1 uh, box. And there I go. I check it real quick. It's right there. Uh, let's click on it, make sure it works. Sure enough, it works. Uh, now, this isn't available yet because that's not going to start for another week. Um, but that's about it. I've added the session to my class.